Formula One is seen as one of the most gas-guzzling of sports, but one top engineer and former F1 team boss is seeking to change this with the launch of a so-called guilt-free synthetic fuel. The technology could help the sport achieve its goal of using 100% sustainable fuel from 2026 as it races to reach net zero by 2030. So what is a synthetic fuel? Um, put simply, it's a fuel made from just air and water. Paddy Lowe is the co-founder of British-based Zero Petroleum. For decades, he devoted his time to working out how to make Formula One cars go faster. Now his tagline is 600 million years in three minutes, as he focuses on consigning fossil fuels to history. In June, he opened Plant Zero One, billed as the world's first fully integrated facility to make synthetic fuel from air, water and renewable energy. The science is based on the 1920s work of Germans Franz Fischer and Hans Tropsch, who came up with a process to produce liquid hydrocarbons from coal. So when you burn a regular fuel, fossil fuel such as uh, gasoline, petrol or diesel or jet fuel, what comes out of the exhaust pipe is carbon dioxide, that's burnt carbon, and water, which is burnt hydrogen. What we do is take those exact same molecules out of the atmosphere again, so the water and the carbon dioxide, and we add in new energy and reconstitute that as a hydrocarbon. The new plant will make a mere 30 litres of fuel a day, not enough to fill a car tank, but sufficient for technical evaluations, research and certification. Lowe sees synthetic fuels as a future not just for cars, but also aviation, shipping and agriculture, where electric is not a viable option due to weight or range. He predicts the cost of synthetic fuel, currently eye-wateringly expensive, will plunge. The next step, which we call Plant 0.2, will be to take this exact same technology to a scale of, you know, maybe uh, 500 times, 1,000 times bigger uh, where we are making enough fuel to sell it to clients, to sell it to the public. So this is a commercial grade plant. So, and eventually, within just a few decades, we anticipate uh, and, and very, with great conviction that all the fuel we use today as fossil fuel and more, because consumption will not reduce, will be made by synthesis, will be synthetic fuels rather than dug out of the ground.